are making a hot milk sponge cake for a strawberry shortcake we're gonna put together. So you're gonna need some sugar, you're gonna need eggs, milk, butter. We have flour with a little bit of salt and baking powder, some vanilla, and some canola oil. Let's get started. Let's cream our eggs and sugar, adding the eggs slowly one by one at a relatively high speed until they become rich and frothy, about three times the volume. This should take about two minutes. While your eggs are whipping, we're gonna go ahead and scald our milk and our butter. We wanna bring it to a steam. We've scalded our milk, it's at a steam. You can turn it off now. At this point, we'll add the vanilla, and we will whisk in the canola oil. So go ahead and do that. We're gonna sift our flour, our baking powder, and our salt. We'll do that twice. All right, we have our eggs and our sugar combined. See how light it became? That's what we're after. Now we're going to combine the milk mixture and the flour in stages, probably about three stages. So we'll start it up. Let's put about a third of our flour in. And we'll add a third of our milk. And we'll do that until it's all combined. We have a prepared nine by 13 pan here, ready to go. It's two inches tall, nine by 13. We're gonna take our batter and we'll pour it right inside. From here, we'll head to the oven. We're gonna bake it for about 35 minutes or so, could be 40, and uh, we'll bake it until a toothpick comes out clean in the center. This is the strawberry shortcake I grew up with in Southern Indiana. I hope you give this a try.